Now we have, now we're in Act Four, where we have Act One music. Awesome. We all love, you know, the opening of Planet Wisp. Yeah. So right here, we're just gonna drift. Not too difficult, I hear, right here. I don't even think you can fall off the stage. Oh, you can't. Okay. It's an invisible wall right there. Okay, I like that. Now we have a quick time event. Yep, and I love the fact that the quick time events, all you gotta do is press one button, that's it! So simple! It's not like Sonic, Sonic Unleashed where you have to do a five button sequence to get a bullshit quick time event. Uh, if Sonic Unleashed were ever to get remade, I, I would really love for them to get rid of the quick time events, at least in the daytime stages. All oh, this part right here is very difficult to get the red star ring. Not difficult, it's just the, the, the platforms are so tiny and the camera doesn't help either. Alright, but here we're just going from point A to point B. That's all we're doing. I'm trying to figure out what is Eggman trying to build here. I mean, it, the area is under construction. There's nothing there yet. What's he trying to build? The world's largest coffee? Coffee pot house? What the hell? I mean, coffee shop. Ah. Like what, he wants to go head-to-head -head with Starbucks? <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. I mean, coffee shops are popular. In fact, where I work, there's a coffee shop like two block, uh, like two doors down where I work. So. You know, as alien as this place is, there's something very Eggmanish about it. I think he's transforming it somehow, like making it part of his theme park. Attention guests, if you can hear this message, you are trespassing in an area still under renovation. If you are not a robot, please return to the main park areas and ignore anything evil you might have seen here. Thank you. It looks like the theme of his park is universal domination and the conquest of alien races. It's more than a theme, it's a reality. He's using them like some kind of living intergalactic gasoline. That's pretty low, even for a sleazeball like Eggman. Some displacement of indigenous aliens and destruction of natural resources may occur. Eggman Enterprise is not responsible. Hey, you getting any of that? Yeah, they're totally freaked out. It sounds like they're in shock because of public transportation and a loony nurse. Oh no, wait, scratch that. They're in shock because of their planet's strange transformation and having been dragged across the universe. Well, I still can't believe he kidnapped a whole planet. How does somebody do that? They're saying it was either ice cream or a tractor beam. Yeah, well, I'm going to guess it wasn't ice cream shooting out of those generators. If it was, I would get one for back home. Dude, I'd get two. Now, if everyone will excuse me, I'm going to put a stop to these renovations. Eggman is behind this, and we don't even know what his evil purpose is. I don't know. You know, it's Eggman here. We can all assume that it's up to- Eggman's always up to no good. Yeah, and speaking of that, I know we're gonna get to the boss fight uh, in a little while right now. And I have no idea, you know, I checked all the other YouTubers. They all recommended that I do not play that cutscene in English. Just because of a fear of you getting a copyright strike. You know, just because of that infamous line that Sonic says. Uh, I think it's best if I do put the cutscene in Japanese. I mean, I understand, you know, you know, this, you know, this game is in English, but, you know, I just don't want to risk getting a copyright strike. I hope you all understand that. Alright, now we're in Act 6, right off the bat, we're rail grinding. That's fucking badass. And I love the rail grinding physics in this game, because when you're rail grinding, you can see some sparks behind your feet. It shows real gra rail grinding physics. You don't get that in, another, in any other Sonic game. You know, it's kind of odd. Yeah, so right here, all you're doing is rail grinding. Not too difficult. Just be careful you don't fall into the poison river. Yeah, so what I was trying to say is, yeah, because the next cutscene, I know it's the cutscene that makes Sonic Colors very popular. Unfortunately, you could get copyright striked if you play it in English in your channel, big or small. So I think it's best if I play the, the cutscene in Japanese. That's the only way I can avoid a copyright strike, so I hope you all understand that. You know, because I don't want to have any issues. You know, I don't want to have any issues where if I play the cutscene in English, you know what, what I'm talking about. And next thing you know, I get a copyright strike on my channel. I'm not going to risk it, so I hope you all understand that. Plus, you can watch the cutscene in English anytime on, you uh, on YouTube. or it It's out there. 
but I'll see if I can play it in English. I don't know, at the time of this recording, I don't know, I'll see what I can do. If I can play it in English, I'll see. However, if I add my commentary to it, I don't think I can risk being uh, copyright striked. I don't know, I'll, I'll, I'll have to look that up. If I can add my commentary while the cutscenes play in English, I don't think I can get, I'll get copyright striked. Maybe copyright activity? You know, which is nothing. I mean, look, uh, so that's, that's all I could hope for. All right, take the secret shortcut right here, not only to get a red star ring, but also to get a secret, so you don't have to do any platforming. You know me, man, I don't have time for that shit. I like taking shortcuts. Just like Sega, they always like taking shortcuts and making all their goddamn Sonic games less than two hours for some reason. You gotta cut that shit out, seriously. Uh, God only knows what they're gonna come up with for 2021. And we're done. All right. I hope you enjoy this cutscene. Whether and there's the generator. It seems like these guys are getting harder and harder to find. I know for a fact these guys are getting harder and harder to beat. Please remember. All planets in Eggman's incredible interstellar amusement park are, as far as you know, wholly owned properties of Eggman Enterprises and its subsidiaries. All unauthorized photography, video reproduction, or shutting down of generators is strictly prohibited. Thank you! Eggman! I am going to save this planet, and I am going to free these aliens! No copyright law in the universe is going to stop me! We can save a lot of time and broken robots if you just quit now! <sighs> you try to be reasonable? Alright, now we're fight fighting this boss, especially a rehash boss fight of what we fought in Tropical Resort. Alright, the only difference is this one has an aggressive laser pattern. Like that. I like the fact that the lasers uh, can't penetrate those spinning, rotating platforms. Just use spikes and homing attack into the uh, into the uh, enemy. That's it. Your homing attack is twice as powerful when you're in a spikes form like that. I didn't even know you could homing attack using spikes at first. I didn't know you could do that in regular stages. Eh, it's a fun fact and an easy S rank. All right, I'll see you in the next world. Peace. to the broken robot who can't hear you? Uh, maybe. That's between me and the robot. See, the important thing here is the alien planet is free. Absolutely. So, we can just forget about the whole talking to dead robots thing, right? Nope. I knew you'd say that. <laughs> well, come on. I've seen you save the day a lot of times, but I've never seen you talk to a pile of metal. Touché. 